Good morning. Uh, please, I'd like to see Miss Washington. I'm sorry, you can't see her now. Why? Company rules. You see her only on appointment. So what do I do now? Mm -hmm. Your name and your contacts. Then you come back next week to check when you meet. Next week. Flat tire, mother. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I have a flat tire. I don't know why it, it would choose to, to, to happen now at, at this time. The good Lord proposes everything, mother. Do you have a spare? Um, yeah, I, I think I do. It, it should be in the boots, but I can't afford the time. I am late for, for a crucial appointment. You know? God, what do I do? I just have to make a call then. I just have to call the office. Change it, then um, take the car to my office, please. 
by God's special grace. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, okay? Um, but you know what? When you get to the office, ask for my PA. Her name is Meg. All right? Just give her the keys. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, let me just get my bag. <laughs> Okay. to come but once. Yours is here. Mm -hmm. Remember you're a child of God. A born again Christian for that matter. Oh Jesus, what do I do? Hello Nike? Nike, it's me. Did any young man bring back the car to the office? To Meg. Is she there? Meg, is that you? Okay, did any young man bring back the car to the office? Fool! Watch all the car by the Honda!
born again words. Being born again does not mean you don't need money. Gospel, you need this money. Take it. And I really need it. The devil is at war. He's trying to lead you astray. What did Christ tell Satan? Get thee behind me, Satan. Gospel, have you thought of what you can do with this money? 5,000 US dollar. Gospel, it is final goodbye to poverty. Bye bye to job hunting forever. The eighth commandment says, Thou shalt not steal. If you take this money, it is stealing. Stealing is sin. Gospel, for four years now you've been suffering, toiling, searching for non existent work. Doesn't God say that heaven help those who help themselves? Doesn't the Bible say, 2 Peter 2, verse 9, that the Lord knows how to rescue the godly men from trials? Gospel, the Lord has come to rescue you from your four years' trial. So take the money. Don't think of anything. Take the money and make use of it. Special place of God. My Bible tells me, What shall you profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Nothing. And again, in Luke 6, verse 27, Jesus Christ says, We should not learn from the wind that perishes, but for the world that endureth unto everlasting life. Well, even a lot of so called Christians these days find the layer of money too tempting to resist, especially when it is dollars, hard currency. Well, um, that is by the way. Um, I believe you've got your appointment letter there. Yes. So you go through it and discuss with Mr. Azul here. He is my personal manager. I guess that will be open now. Thank you, Mom. And uh, you, keep up the good work. I can try to conduct people like Mr. Azul. <laughs> Madam, Mr. Azul is already here. Let's go. <laughs> oh, for sure, your face. Your place is so nice. Very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, Linda, I just have to leave for the people. You know, I just got back and I am so tired. Yeah, you should be. But don't forget to call me immediately you get to Abuja. I won't forget. Take care. Alright then. See ya. Alright. Tell me, when are you moving over to Lagos Fire? Um, as soon as um, they're done with my accommodation, it should take about a month or two. I can't come to Lagos and start sporting, you know that. I hope you remembered to thank her for me because of the accommodation she I didn't to. forget. Portia is my very good friend and she's so nice. Yeah, she's she has been very nice to me. And the Lord has been using her to grant my favors. <laughs> yeah, and this is your God and favors and all that. <laughs> anyway, I'm on my way. Take care of yourself and be very good. Remember to call. I won't forget to call. Her. Take care. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Remember. To give your life to Christ before you move about to Lagos. 
Um, I will put that down somewhere faster possible. Take care, yeah? to the managing director slash CEO subject request to introduce devotional prayers dear madam I greet you in the name of Jesus I humbly write to inform you of my desired intention to introduce daily devotional prayers in Laporte International Limited these prayers shall be held before the start of work each day and also after the close of work. The sole intention is to draw the members of staff closer to God. I knew that you are aware that certain always stays 10 kilometers away wherever prayers are said regularly. The devotional prayer shall however be optional. I hope you will grant my humble request in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. These born again Christians. Madam, I'm so pleased to receive your approval of my request for the introduction of devotional prayers in this office. And I tell you, I am sure that the good Lord that I serve will begin to manifest his powers here in this company. You know, it's already manifested. And I must confess, since you joined us here, there's been tremendous positive change and growth in our financial fortune. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, madam. I must get back to it. Okay. I hope to start it off right now. Gospel? Gospel. Um, one minute. Jesus. Say hallelujah. Oh, 
Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Um, what do I say here? All the time. Okay. All the time. You know, my Bible tells me that you should ask and you should receive. Seek and you should find. Knock, the door shall be opened unto you. Wow, sounds nice. But that's what the Lord Jesus said. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sister, I thank God that you have at last given your life to Christ. I thank God too. Ever since I gave my life to Christ, my whole life changed. I, I now know a peace I've never known before. The Lord is good.
day. Be how many times will I tell you that it is over? Madame. And you, what are you doing here? Madame, that man don't come again, no? That man don't come again, no? Which man? That Billy man. Madame, he they shot me. Not go bring it. Not go bring it. Not go say, I go get some, some. Because you mama don't talk to me, say, make I know. Will open. you shut up and go back to your duty post? Come back here. Anytime that man steps into this compound, make sure you're ready to go. Madam? Come back here! Go out there. Tell that Billy Goat to go back to his bloated wife. I don't want to ever see his sorry face in my house again. Do you hear me? Look, madam. Now, as I talk, I'm so, so good be. Oh, that man, a mumu, a mumu, some, some. But you know one person, the more you can say, they come, they come back. Now, I'm going to put my pieces Oh, my God. Just, just get out. Good evening. Oh, come on. Uh, sit down. Um, yeah, I, I sent for you. Y you know, um, actually, I'm, I'm dying in silence. And I, I think it's high time I let you know about it. Madam, children of God, do not die in silence. Tell me, what is the challenge that you're facing? Just mention it. Nothing is impossible in the sight of the Lord. Okay. Um, there's this particular dream. And it's 
always coming back to me almost every night. Can you really interpret the dream for me? Madam, what is the dream though I am not Joseph? Um, in the dream I I see myself getting married to Sunny my gift. Sunny? Can you imagine me getting married to my git man, Sunny? So, so. Madam, even though I am not blessed with the gift of the dream interpretation, but I must tell you, your days of spinsterhood is coming to an end. I think the Lord is trying to show you that the person that is going to marry you is going to be somebody within your cycle. It's not going to be somebody from the village. And I tell you, you have to pray for God's clear revelation. You're done, let me pray for you. Okay. In the name of Jesus, oh Father Lord, I thank you for your daughter that is in front of you this evening. Oh Father, I worship your name because you are the Lord. I thank you for the life you have given to her. I thank you for accepting us in your presence this evening. Father, I worship your name because you are the Lord. You are the King. You said that anything we ask of you, that it shall be given to us. I am asking you for you to come and make this dream to be clearer for her to understand. Make it your own way, Father. That's what I ask of you this evening, Father Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, I thank you because you always answer whenever I ask. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. I worship your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. <sighs> <Ooh. laughs> you know, um, actually, I, I now feel lighter I had. <laughs> That is the Lord's story. Yeah. Good night, man. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, man. Oh, okay. Good night.
Only the word of God is truth and constant. You will marry whoever the Lord has destined you to marry. That's what says. Well, I was just driving past now when the Holy Spirit ministered to me that I should give you a message. A message? Yes. The Holy Spirit said I should tell you that there is this woman whom God used to bless you. And the Holy Spirit said that God needs that woman. And in doing that, it must come through you. Through me? Yes. She Oh. The Holy Spirit said that you must marry that woman. Excuse me, sir. Please, may I know you? I am Pastor Paul Terry Davidson, General Overseer of New Gospel Ministry. You can come to me personally or you call me on the phone. But the Bible said, Blessed are those who believe without sin. Today, you are blessed. You are highly blessed. The prevailing situation is that she's in the world. here is that she's not a born again Christian. See Gospel, I still want you to pray about this matter. Don't be in a rush. As long as she remains an unbeliever, I will not give my approval of this matter. Terry Devonson is a wonderful man of God. 
always gifted in prophecies and vision. And I've not seen anybody that says his prophecy is false. Or that his vision did not come to pass. He is really gifted in that aspect. Dragos, I think you should make sure that she is generated. I mean truly born of it before you go. Thank you very much. Bring down your voice. This is not a shouting matter. I will shout, oh. Why will I not shout? For what? So because she gave you a job and a house, she wants to enslave you. Eh? What? Look, the God I serve and worship will not let it happen. Believe me. But sister, my pastor advised me to pray over it. Mm. And the Lord showed me that she is my wife. God forbid. Yeah. Hey! This woman has charmed my brother. Stop talking like a heathen. My Bible says in Ecclesiastes 11 verse 5 that as we do not know the path of the wind or know how the body is formed in a womb, so we do not understand the ways of the Lord. Hmm. That same Bible, that same Bible says in Ephesians 4 14 that we will no longer be children tossed back and forth by the waves or here and there by every wind of teaching or by the cunning craftiness of men in their deceitful scheming that's in Babylon so you do not know what you're saying I know what I'm saying no? I know every bit of what I'm saying whether it is spiritual matter Bible matter heart matter all I know is that it will not work in fact I am going home right now to tell Papa as a matter of fact right now
So you have the guts to come to my house to insult me and call me names. I did not insult you. I was only advising my brother against Mary me that I trapped him with chance. Belinda, you also said that you would never see it happen. But let me tell you, when the time comes, we shall see. That time will never come because the God I serve will not let a 26-year-old boy marry a 31-year-old woman. But you are not God. And his ways are not the ways of humans. You know what I want to tell you? When you get home, write it down in your diary that I said it is either gospel marries me or that will die. Money is not everything. You cannot buy a husband with money. With friends. We shall see, Belinda. We shall see. it next. Go and mark it somewhere that I, we watch, have told you. The day they lie on the scripture. That is when they, I tell you, even the ship will come demanding for what belongs to them. Okuchuku. When what will be, will become. Let that the Holy Spirit is not fair to come and rescue you. Adam. Okuchuku. So much to scream. What have I done? Ask me about why should I cry? I mean, but this is so fair. It's so fair. It's so fair. This pain, it cuts. It cuts like a knife. It had so much to scream. I pledge to make you a principal partner in the process of pleasure. We shall operate the joint account and have equal rights to everything. What can I make to allege the fears arising from the little difference of age and, and social status? What his heart approves. And also in Proverbs, you will love this. The Lord said, He that finds a wife finds a woman. Ha <laughs> 
Yeah. When I heard the news in London, I told them that the project crossing I know cannot go wrong in anything. <laughs> so she can't be wrong this time. Hmm, Gina, Gina, dear. You know, the truth of the matter is that it's a spiritual thing. I didn't do anything here. I guess. God himself took the decision. Yeah, Pastor. <laughs> Please. Please. Yeah, right. Actually, the Bible says that we should follow our hearts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Honey, I think we should speak on to our You know, it will give me the opportunity to introduce you to some of our foreign business associates. That would be nice. Yes. But let the will of God be you. Amen, my darling. Honey, <laughs> tell me something nice now. Mm -hmm. So what do you want me to do? Feel like all those sweet love talks. <laughs> you know, like you love me so. <laughs> and now you know why they call it the mustard seed pastor. With or without your faith, I deliver my promise. Pastor, <laughs> I am now convinced. Totally convinced. And you know what? What? Initially, I was terribly scared. Scared that it might not work. You know, especially when they were talking about not being born again and all that crap. <laughs> I am Pastor Terry Denison. No one comes to me and gets disappointed. You see, Portia, when I threw in a hook, it sinks deep and stays deep. You know what, Pastor? What? Most of my friends are eager to know the secret. But I tell them that it's the Lord's doing. I mean! It is marvelous in their eyes. You see, Pasha, what I want is you need to bring them to me. Introduce them to me. I mean it. Introduce them to me. Pastor, I will do that. But in due time. Due time. That's good. In due time. Wow. Pastor, I have.
really please. I'm tired, eh? Just go on without me.
Clearly I've gone astray Hungry and homeless Lost in the darkness Can't find my way mm. Here is a mountain yeah. Mountain I can't move Have I made a mistake? I need direction I need a way Show me the future Where I belong I need a solution Show me the light Show me tomorrow Feels like I'm sinking away into an endless beat. Oh, shattered and battered, shattered and naked, naked on my own. I need somebody to pull me up. Oh, I need a shoulder to lean on. To lean on. Where is the future? Oh, yeah. Where is tomorrow? Oh, yeah. oh. Since after your wedding, your wife has only attended service here twice. Maybe she has changed her place of worship. I don't know. But Gospel, I must point out to you the danger in living with a woman different faith. You alone know what the problem is. I want you to go open your Bible to 2 Corinthians 6, 17 and see what the good Lord has for us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate. Come out from among them and be what? Separate. Go ahead. Do not touch what is unclean. Do not touch what is unclean. And I will receive. And I will receive. I have said that. You are. started you told me that you wanted to come closer to God that you wanted to grow in faith but what is going on now is a complete negation of that desire suddenly you stopped going to church stopped attending fellowship and you started to be late nights and all sorts of rubbish behavior for heaven's sake you are my wife and I demand you put an end to this rubbish henceforth you You Gospel Okuchuku Oji You now have the guts to shout at me and demand Hey One dash
because you are Lord. You said we should ask that it should be given unto you. I am asking that you give me the power to take away the spirit using my wife. I send them into the abyss this evening right now in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, Lord Jesus. I send them into the abyss this evening right now in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, Lord Jesus. I am counseling everything in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord Jesus. I send the Holy Ghost fire to consume. Father, any evil spirit surrounding this building. Father, I send them into the abyss this evening right now in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar, Lord. The devil is a liar. Oh, Jesus, any spirit, any evil spirit, using my wife to walk in this house. I send it out. I send it out. Hey, 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 please shut up. The devil is a liar. Don't you ever. Why must you shout and disturb everybody? Is that true? You had earlier said that I discomfort you in the room. Here I am in the sitting room and you are still not pleased. Why should I be pleased? Why? Must you shout whenever you pray? Is it God deaf? Or does he have hearing problems that he, you, you must always shout each time you pray? You pray silently in your heart. The next time the noise making wakes me up on a beautiful sleep, I will make sure I teach you a lesson that you will never forget. Bro gospel. Bro gospel. Does your wife smoke? <laughs> How can my wife smoke? Take a look at this.
Ephesians 6 12. He said, We should not wrestle against flesh and blood, yes. but for the principalities, powers of darkness, in higher and lower places. He said in the book of Matthew 18 18, He said, Whatsoever we bind here on earth, it bound in heaven. Whatsoever we look here on earth, it's loose in heaven. The word of God said in the book of Zechariah 4 6. He said, What are those mighty mountains before the river? That those mountains are going to be leveled. I want us to know that this is our brother here. It's in bondage. Where is this song coming from? Ah, from backyard. From backyard, sing, sing, sing. And they sing nonsense, nonsense song. Who are the people singing? Madam, now my master and the people. My master and the people. Then they sing, 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 me, oh. They sing, nonsense, nonsense, thing. In my compound. When did my house become a church? Since when? Before I open my eyes, all of you should leave my house. What is the meaning of this portion? Don't you be behind me. Oh, yeah, out. This devil is a lie. Madam, take it easy. Mark! The devil is a lie. Madam, take it easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, get out. Get out. Go. Oh, yeah, start going now. Madam, give your you life. You give to your Christ. own life to Christ. Get Holy out. Holy Spirit will arrest you. Holy Spirit will arrest you for. Look at them hungry looking idiots. Get out! Look at them. Where do you think you're going to? Go, go, come, go inside! Go inside the house! I'm talking to you. Go inside! Inside! Inside, inside! inside. Leave there! Foolish me. The one. Thank you very much. And the boys, when they fell out here, money all, man no money. A madman has no shame, but his kinsmen. The Omoabo Progressive Union, Lagos branch, sent us. Of course, you know why. When you think of death, you also think of life. In short, I don't have much time to waste here. We can no longer take the answer that a young man is pouring on us. In my place, women don't marry men. I don't like what people are saying here. Let's call a spade a spade. Dodge. Okuchuku, your son, is a slave to one in Bamiri. And they call it marriage. Uh, my people, calm down. Um, you see, it is true that he refused to join our meeting. Because according to him, Children of God do not tangle with darkness. But if we fail to save him now that he's alive, if he dies, it is still we, his kinsmen, that will bury him. Please. <sighs> um, I thank you, people, for your concern on this very issue. I am really grateful. You see, I want to assure you that any action, I mean, anything you people think you can do, to save this young man from this situation, I'm really in support of it. Mm -hmm. I mean it. They wait. They wait, wait, wait. What the union sent us to do is to send a delegation that will discuss with the boy first and foremost and hear from his own mouth and judge whether he is still in his clear eyes 
or otherwise. Uh, calm down, calm down, Donna. Um, then, in that case, we want you and your daughter here. Mm? Hmm. Please, uh, be calm. I'm very sorry to offend you people. Don't be upset. But nobody should mention my name in Okuchiko's matter at all. Mm. 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 Ah. Um, um, Mr. Wade, no problem. Uh, we want you to go with Chidi here and talk to your son first before we take our next action. Okay? Jesus Christ! Papa! Uncle Jade! Have you been here for so long? Not so long. Sunny, uh, come here. Sunny, uh, why didn't you take them inside, Master? Madam, they've house me and the one of And what is that supposed to mean, <laughs> oh, Master? Madam, they've house me. Open the gate. I'm not gonna open the gate. I said you should open the gate. Yes, sir. Yes, yes ma'am. My husband, 
is not the only person that has got something to say here. You know, since my husband has decided to wash our dirty linens outside, I mean, in the public, then I'll have no alternative then to, to let out the worms from the can. Has my husband told you that um, he's impotent? Oh, yes. Gospel impotent? Honestly, Pastor, I am the one suffering here. So, Pastor, you, you see. Not at all, Doctor. Anyway, you are 100% clinically sound. Your sperm count is well above potency region. So, there's absolutely no question as to whether you can make it or not. You are quite potent, my friend. Bedroom door is locked. I don't understand. Of course, I locked it. And your things have been moved to another room. Why? Because I cannot be sharing my bed with a so called man who cannot actualize the essence of marriage. And what is the essence of marriage? Pregnancy, of course. And how do you know the problem is for me? Because I know it's not for me. How do you know that? Before I met you, I take him easily. Besides, a woman who has had over a hundred abortions cannot be said Taking those dollars. Anyway, you still have a chance. God, is this my own cross that I'm bearing? How do I get through this persecution? There is only one way out. Kill her and he hurt! I do not agree with those union people. No. I do not agree with them at all. How can they say they've taken the woman to the data and they're waiting for results? What are they waiting for? Now, if we don't agree with them, what do you do? What do we do? Papa, Okuchuku must be brought out. Forced out as a matter of fact. Even if it means time chains to his hands and his legs, let's do it. That woman will kill him all. Then you go and drag him out from there. Is he not your only brother?
son, sir. Sir, I don't know what you're going through or the problem that is making you feel this way. But, sir, I recall your very words you said to me in the past. You said whatever problem that confronts me, that I should adopt the mindset of victory and translate the problems into challenge. Yes, it works, sir. Meg, I have just realized that the greatest mistake anyone can make ever is to marry a woman that is not his wife. Remember what the Bible says. The Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the good Lord delivers him from them. Again, sir. The Bible records in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6. It says, When King David was overwhelmed with problems, that he encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Why not act like David, sir? Encourage yourself in the Lord your God. It's faithful and just. Always. She needs to be and myself have concluded plans to reconcile you with her father. They have convinced him and he has asserted he treated you badly, very badly. You will soon be hearing from him. Please, Lord, do not have him in your heart. Find a place in your heart to forgive him. Time is a great healer, you know. Dad has really repented. This is what we are you may not believe it, but Chini had just left high school. They will soon be going to college. And Zubi, that one is a blockhead. <laughs> he will be graduating in two years time from the high school. I think he is more of a businessman like that, you know. I'm already second year in the college and I'm just 16 home. Nigeria now. They say the condition of living is improving. Well, please go. Tell us everything in your reply, sir. You won't be done. You didn't tell me that you were once married and you even have kids. So, it has gotten to an extent where you spy and monitor me. Slip into my office in my absence. Search everywhere. Oh, shit. 
You deceived me. Why? Answer me. Now. What next? What next? What next? You ask me. Survival is dependent on the second operation he needs to undergo. He needs another operation. Yes, and that will cost you 500,000 naira. 500,000 naira? Jesus Christ. That is the situation. We are inviting our specialists to perform the operation. The whole of his reproductive system, his scrotum, his penis, and his pantop, they've all been destroyed irreparably in Africa. Irreparably? Then what's the operation for? Well, it's a life-saving operation. If it's successful, then he will leave. But without his own reproductive system. Well, doctor, can we see him? Oh, go ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you, doctor. Um, it's me. It's his wife. Um, please, I, I, I just want to know about his condition. Okay. Okay. Um, I beg your pardon? Well, please, are, are you sure of what you just told me? You mean it's irreparably damaged?
um, everything that has a beginning has an end. Because no woman sticks to a man whose manhood is useless. That is all you came to my house with, including this. Cross examine us. Everything will be explained to you when we get to the station. Yes. Uh, officer. Arrest Excuse me, mister. I am not a rip. I know my right in my country. You don't just come into my house to arrest me. What? what? Have your right is to contain my brother. Okay, shut up. up. Shut up. Arrest oh, her. Shall we go now? Hey, hey. Ah, don't touch her. She will charm you as well. She will charm you. Move. Take it easy. I'll come with my car. No, 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 no. No, no grab a black no, no. Maria waiting for your side. It's move or I move you. Sally. Yes, madam. Contact my lawyer. Tell them to meet me at zone two immediately. Okay. All of them. Yes, madam. Sunny, contact the sun, the pan, all of them. We're waiting for them. Move. Sun, move. Pan, all of them, call them. Go! Chama! Slave driver. Lawyer. Yes. Yes. Lawyer. Yes. Yes. Before we pay. I would like us to read the small portions from the Bible. Galatians chapter 3, verse 5. He therefore that ministered to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the Lord, or by the hearing of faith. Verse 6. Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him by righteousness. Mrs. Porsche, Paulson, Oji was to serve to the same place to six months in prison. In this judgment, the presiding judge and Dewale and Dewe found her guilty. Correspondent, Helen. Come here. And you know, I said, what? 
Tu sais, c'est des loups. Il a fait ce genre de temps. Il dit, c'est ça, c'est des loups. Pas une bosse. Why can't his relatives come to his rescue? Especially that his sister. Nikki, that is my answer. I heard that they objected seriously to my mother. He refused to listen. He looked so pitiable. I really wished there was something I could do to help him. I, I would have. I'm going to do, do whatever it takes for me to help that man. He has done me a great favor. that's converted my life and I'm so grateful to him. I have to take the waters 2,000 years ago. That's good. So how is business? How is it going? 
Business is fine. An office is doing well. The supplies are picking up once more. Good. Um, has Lorenzo finished payment for the supplies? Almost. They've paid about 95%. I promised to pay them my clients the next two weeks. Good job. Madam, I would like you to keep this. Read them at your spare time. Thank you very much. And madam, I would like you to surrender your life to tell to Jesus Christ. Bring him into your life. And I promise you, the life of the Lord will be safe. Let us pray. Father in heaven. Two hundred thousand is what I can pay. Foga, please just make it two fifty, please. Well, two. The car is barely in good condition. I still have some repairs to do, you know. Foga, there is nothing wrong with this car. Okay, just add something, please. Foga, please. You didn't tell me you were coming to sell this car. What is happening? Just yesterday, you sold almost all your jewelries. Nikki, I have to raise this money for Gospel's operation. The doctor said if the operation is not done within four days, he might die. Please. But I beg you to sell this car. Without much. With your one please, I need to. Not all. Men. Please. Your one
don't want to see her. Please. Forgiving you. Thank you. But I need to know why you did what you did. Or what pushed you. Vengeance. Vengeance for the trauma <laughs> I suffered from my Get first Get out of husband. my house, I don't need you. Get out.
So you mean you punished me because of what your ex-husband did to you? When I told you the trauma that I suffered for my first husband, I vowed to have my pound of flesh. I waited patiently until you came around. But why me? Mr. Darlington was a born again. But I don't want him to know that the money came from me.
Here we are. Omar. I won't be able to be at your wedding tomorrow. That's why I have decided to make this little presentation to you, both of you. Here. Here is the key to the house. But it's for both of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, that's not all. The Mama, Lord is thank good. You. <laughs> thank you, Ma. <laughs> thank you. That's not all. You're not done yet. <sighs> this is for both of you. Three million naira. Three million naira. Three million naira. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>